So it's five minutes after five o'clock. Can you believe that? I can't even see my head. Oh, come on. Not even anything. I can't see anything. Anyway, it started to rain um, down at the uh, dam. I hope I can talk loud enough. Yeah, you hear me. Um, so I walked over to the park. And on the park, uh, one of the videos that I produced uh, was me sunbathing. I think it was called um, I Spy With My Little Pipe. Uh, so right beside where I was there that day, there is a small little bush cluster. And so inside the bush cluster, I don't even know if you can see anything. Yeah, let's see. So there's like a little sit spot uh, somebody has made. Maybe cruisers. I don't know. Uh, I think everybody's gay. So there's crazy spots everywhere. Every little piece of bush where there's a path. Somebody's got their cock sucked there. <laughs> That's what I think. So um, I'm in the little cruisy spot. There. Although you can't see my face, I can see my silhouette, uh, only because of the sky. So I'm sitting in the little koozie spot, I guess, uh, drinking my 7% sourpuss, and um, listening to music. Music cuts me. Uh, I listen all the words. It doesn't matter. You did this, I did this, blah, 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 brokenhearted. It, all of it hurts. And yet I listen to it. Like, I even made a playlist, which I called... I had three playlists. One was called A Little Poundy. The second one was called, one was called, oh no, one was called Don't Pound Me, then it was A Little Poundy, and then Pound Me Hard. <laughs> Those were the three uh, ones, because it's all about the bass, right? Uh, my music is all about the bass, uh, so the Pound Me Hard is a bassy. So when you put it on there like a home stereo and surround sound, boom, 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 because that makes me goosebumpy -ly. I like a dad. I like a dad. Same as the smell of rubber when I go to the racetrack. As soon as I smell somebody doing a brake torque, uh, literally goosebumps go up my back. I love it. I jizz. No, I'm kidding. Maybe I do. I don't know. I love it that much. It just, uh, adrenaline. As soon as I smell it, adrenaline shoots into my bloodstream. Uh, all the pheromones of happy, happy, happy. I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, there's something about it. Uh, something about, uh, Mary. <laughs> So you know you're crazy when you can sit in the bushes all by yourself, listening to music, drinking uh, sourpuss, and fucking laugh your head off. I have to be honest, today is a down day for me. Um, I woke up this morning and it was awful. I hadn't even got my second strike on YouTube uh, by accident. One of those googly things had a picture of my junk in it and they removed it and striked number two now. Uh, one more and I can't upload and there goes Joan Rivers because I wanted to meet her. Oh, maybe I'll meet her if I fall into the river. That would be the, you know, <laughs> that's the secondary goal. <laughs> anyway, I talked to the gentleman at the store. Um, he could be attractive. Uh, he's got this grossy, grossy beard on him uh, that looks, reminds me of um, Peter from the family guy uh, when he had those birds in his beard. <laughs> those endangered species of bird in his beard. So the beard looks like that. It's just, Kelsey even mentioned it to me. goes, why do you grow that thing? You know, it's pubes. It's like pubes on your face. <laughs> so, and you know what? People trim their pubes and call it manscaping. When the pubes, pubes grow out of your face uh, and you trim it, you know what I mean? Like, and you make it look all uh, purdy to look at. Uh, what do you call that? Anyway, when she told me that, I shaved it. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not. I'm not wearing pubes on my face. <laughs> anyway, I'm on the... Um, oh, I wish I could see me. I'm on the fence right now, for emotional-wise. One minute, I'm sad. Um, the next minute... It's because I smoked weed. Weed doesn't let you be sad. It's the same as crystal meth. No, actually, I lied. I've cried on crystal meth, so that doesn't matter. But weed, we don't let you cry. You just stone and crawl into your head. My goal with today was at least to cry. I feel when I cry, I can get it out, and I feel better the next day. Um, because I feel like I'm uh, one of those volcano things. It's bound up. I, I, I can't yell or scream because there's no anger in me. It's all sad and depressing, and, and I thought if I cried, I could be better after the cry. Why do people cry? Do you know what I mean? Mm. To remove something out of their soul. A hurtful, hurtful thing that we cry. 
I've never cried a happy cry. I don't even know what that's like, as I don't know what it's like to be loved. Uh, all the people that I've ever been with, 1.2 billion people, two of them decided to stick around. Both of them uh, destroyed me. Actually, you know what? Only one destroyed me. The other one is just a selfish piece of shit. Um, so therefore, he didn't destroy me because I walked away still with those full self-esteem. But the second one, uh, he killed me to the point that I'm now on disability. Because I'm... Um, look at me. Look at me. Look what he's done to me. Um, nobody gets it. Nobody understands it. Nobody tries to understand it. They just instantly come up with their opinions or the assumptions as to... Because it's a comparison. They compare shit in their fucking life. Uh, well, I did this when I got my heart broken and... Good, good for you. Now fuck off. Do you know what I mean? Fuck off and keep your fucking whatever you think you know to yourself. Because you don't know anything in my heart. In my soul. In my brain. So don't assume. Because your breeder life is any kind of comparison to mine. Even the faggot life. Don't compare your faggot whore fucking relationship to mine. You, you cheated on yours a billion times. You did all this to yours. You, you, you know what? In Vancouver, this dude that I lived with. Uh, yeah, actually the fucking... What's his name? What's his name? His name is Jonas. But I introduced him as the crack whore. He's the one that stole all my stuff. He actually came to me crying, hammered, like we were hammered, saying how much he treated his partner badly, how much he did this and this and this and this, and then his partner died. And he goes, I never got to fix it. But you treated him badly. Why are you even crying over your, you did that to him. You know what I mean? I didn't do anything to Mike, anything at all. I did nothing. You know, after he did what he did, and I might have called him a few names, fuck that. There's a, those are leaves in the breeze. They're not, I never hurt him at all. I never did anything bad. I never cheated on him. I never did fucking anything to him. But make his dinner, swallow his load, and scratch his back. Do you know what I mean? So him pretending to be angry at me, there's no even reason. Instead, all he does is, because misery does love company, perhaps he is miserable. I hope he's miserable. That's my karma. That was my curse. And so I think about that curse that I placed on him. For him to never find true love and he'll never feel what love is ever again. Because I loved him. I still love him. And so in order for me to maintain the curse, I have to be miserable. Do you know what I mean? Like the, because of everything is a two. Uh, a whole, all of life is pairs. Uh, power in numbers. Light, dark fucking wrong, right, left, right. Everything. Everything is in twos. So therefore, in order for my curse to work... I must also remain miserable. And although he can lie and say that he's happy, he's not. Because if you were, you wouldn't be on Grinder. You wouldn't be hunting for somebody to suck your fucking little dick. Do you know what? Somebody yesterday uh, reacted horribly over the picture that I sent of Mike. Uh, <coughs> which was awful. Because I sent it on a purpose. Because it was a, he was flaccid in the picture. And so it was a little dick. And I knew it was little. So when I posted it, this dude said that... You know, I poor pity the one who wants to put his name on that picture. You know what my heart did? It defended the picture. I lashed out at the faggot going, What, do you judge people by their fucking size of their ears too? You low-life piece of shit. They had nothing... Because that dick was mine. I loved it. It didn't matter. I loved him. It didn't matter the size of his penis. Yet he seems to think... He even said, I, My life would have been different had I had a bigger cock. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? you think that the, the size of your cock would have changed your life? Well, fuck you. I'm cock proud. I got a fatty. I'm six inches cut. Uh, but I'm fatty. I'm like, you know, bigger than toilet paper roll around. Pop can size. I don't know. Uh, not quite pop can size. <laughs> oh my god. Shh. So, uh, what do you call that? Edit. Edit. Or uh, trim. <laughs> you gotta trim that video out. So anyway, I'm down here at the water's edge in the park. I don't know if you can see. Uh, the water is very high because it's raining. So all of this here was... Oh my God, you can't see. I was going to say, all of this here was um, flat rock. But now the river has swollen. Um, I didn't touch him, so he's not swollen from me. Um, but he's swollen and he's coming up onto the shores. So I've kind of barricaded myself into this little wood patch. Uh, because... My goal was to get drunk and die. <laughs> uh, that was my goal today. So, you know, it takes time to do that. So I'm sitting in the bushes uh, drinking my 7% sour. Um, but I feel the first... I'm going to break my seal soon. Um, but, oh my god, so two drinks in. Uh, and I'm catching a pretty good buzz. And I smoked weed. 
And look, you can't see a fucking thing. God damn it. Can you see that? No. Fuck. Anyway, so that was ridiculous. I mean, trying to keep the camera sideways because it is sideways right now. So can you see over there? Fuck, you can't see anything. Oh, God, you're useless. Fuck. Anyway, I'm there. Oh, only if I hold it to the sky. Oh, there I am. So the camera is facing the ground and you're looking up at me and I'm walking through the bushes. Anyway, um, <sighs> I'm not sure now that I've involved weed if I'm going to end up crying, which means I'm not going to achieve my goal today because my goal totally, totally was get drunk and cry. Uh, if I fell into the drink, um, that was just a secondary bonus. But I'm not even at the drink now, so I'm not going to fall in. So that's not going to happen. So anyway, I'm going to drink this one. Smoke a little bit more weed, I guess, because I want to get hammered. And maybe we'll see. Alcohol is a depressant as well. We'll see. Maybe I'll slip my wrist before the end of the day. You know what? The, the anniversary of Mike destroying me or leaving me while I was at work. He kissed me in the morning. I love you. Have a good day. And when I come home from work, he was gone. That's the 17th of November. That's the day that he killed Martin. That's also the day that David was born. Um, because I can't cope. I don't know how. I don't know how. I try. I try. I still try. I try every day. People say the name Martin and I react negatively and scream at them. Do you know what? If you went and got a goddamn boob job for $30,000 and somebody called you flat chested, don't you think you'd get a little bit upset? She's like, of course. Well then, you know what? I changed my name to David. Stop calling me that fucking faggot. You know, Merton, the weakling. The one that got brain raped by Mike. The one that can't fucking... Whatever. You know what? Nobody understands it. Nobody. And I tried to explain it into trailer park terms. Because, you know, I grind at people. Think you're so smart. You ain't fucking smart. You know what I mean? Oh, you, you... They use fancy words because of spell check. <laughs> Or you can just say the word Because I push that too sometimes When I can't spell One of them is predator Because Mike's a predator So I can't spell it <laughs> So I push the microphone And I speak to my phone Predator So people who use these fancy words They just talk it out They don't know it I'm not like one of them Because I don't use fancy words I use trailer park words Because you know what? I don't care if you own 1.8 billion acres of something and you have a, a fucking four-wheeler and you have a fucking car and you have a fucking pig wife who sits at home who doesn't care about you and that's why you're out on Grinder because she doesn't care about you. You know what? And you think you're fucking better? Please. You know what? I am the richest person in the world, I believe, I feel, because I don't have anything and I know what life is. Do you know what? I've OD'd twice. I have slipped my wrists. Uh, ended up in the hospital. Uh, all all this stuff, you know what I mean? So death was very, very close to me. I was homeless for two years uh, because of Mike and got me addicted to crystal meth. So, you know what? I, I've been at the top of the scale, $80,000 a year. And I've been at the bottom of the scale where I couldn't even collect welfare because they robbed me 15 times and I don't have no fucking ID to even tell them that I am me, may I have a welfare check. Do you know what I mean? So fucking, you know what? People think that they have it rough or they, they know all. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's bullshit. And I can't do it anymore. So either, you know, either I rid myself of this planet, which I can't. I like Earth. <laughs> I really do. I've seen a lot of it now. Or Canada, anyway. It doesn't matter. I like Earth. And so far, I don't want to go anywhere. Um, and maybe, do you know what? That piece of shit is 54 right now. Maybe when he's 65, he's going to regret what he did to me. And maybe, by then, I will have forgotten about that sack of shit. Of what he did to me. How he killed Martin. You know, how he used the love that I had for him as a weapon to beat me down. You know, take everything that I ever confided in him and use it as a weapon. To break me. To beat me down. Because his, low, his self-esteem was so low. And I even tried to blow sunshine up his ass. Oh, baby, you're so handsome. I don't know what I'd be doing without you. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I reached out to him so many times. Oh my god, it's 15 minutes. I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, uh, maybe... Maybe I'll be back. I'm not sure. Bye-bye.